Well, there's four words all Kings fans are feeling right now. It's about dang time. After missing the playoffs for the last 16 seasons, the Kings have finally reached the promised land. A packed house inside a Moda Center in Portland, and best believe Kings fans made the trip in hopes of seeing the beam team clinch that elusive playoff berth. No Damian Lillard in this one, who is reportedly sitting out the rest of the season, and boy could have Portland used him tonight. Now after a relatively competitive first half, the Kings came out and punched the Blazers in the throat in the second half. Don't believe me, just watch. Early in the third quarter, De'Aaron Fox says, thank you very much, I'll take that and go coast to coast and bang it down. 18 points on the night for Fox, and how's this? We also had some history made in the third quarter. With that three-pointer right there, Keegan Murray sets the all-time NBA rookie three-point record passing Donovan Mitchell, 13 points on the night for the rookie. And from there, the Kings basically mollywhopped the Trailblazers. It was like Portland tapped out of this game in the third quarter. Sacramento outscores Portland 70 to 34 in the second half, coasting to the 120 to 80 victory. And ladies and gentlemen, the longest playoff drought in the NBA comes to an end. After 16 frustrating seasons, the Kings are playoff bound and even better, securing home court advantage. Light the beam and put some respect on Sacramento. Light the beam, light the beam, light the beam. Coming into it, knowing that that was kind of a burden um, that you wanted to just get off your chest, um, I'm definitely grateful to be a part of that. But like I said, uh, ever since Mike's gotten here and just the talent that we brought in, the guys that we brought in, um, everybody has you know bigger aspirations than that, but uh, it definitely feels great. It definitely feels great to be a part of that. I mean, it's great. I mean, obviously, you know, it would have been nice to, to do it at home for them and, and have them see it. So that was a, you know, that was a letdown for them. But I think, you know, for all the support they've had over the years, um, continuing to come to the arena, um, you know, heartbreak after frustration, after disappointment, um, season after season, you know, to finally get this moment. I think for them, it's. Um, it was everything. I always have been here for one year, so I feel like it was a long time coming, um, but I could be a part of it. Uh, wow. Plus with a lot of really good players and guys that I've been with before, so it's, it's special for sure. We all knew it, man. Um, it's a little, it's a clip on Twitter I seen, um, I was talking to TMZ, I think, um, before the season, before I went to sack. Um, he said, um, are the Lakers gonna be a sleeper? I said, no, we are. Um, so that's crazy. Uh, I, I kind of knew it a little early, but yeah, man, it's exciting for us. Back out here at Moda Center in Portland. So with the win, not only do the Kings obviously clinch that playoff berth, but they also secure home court advantage. Not too shabby. And I can tell you this, I can see the beam all the way from Portland tonight. At Moda Center, Kevin John, ABC 10 Sports.